going. We're going to be talking about tegus today, specifically them coming out of brumation. Uh, I got a tegu this past summer, uh, within a month really, of having uh, him. He kind of uh, went to sleep, and he's been asleep for about seven months now, uh, probably by the end of March, seven months or so six months, and um, he has woken up once. He's been straight asleep for like six whole months, but he woke up once pretty recently. He came out for an hour. Um, he's actually awake right now. I can see him, his eyes open, uh, but he's he's currently sleeping under uh, his water bowl, so uh, I wouldn't say he's out of brumation yet. It looks like he's coming out of it, uh, but I thought, you know, this is the season uh, of Tegu's waking up, so let's do a video on it and how you should properly care for them coming out of brumation. So uh, let's get to that. We'll talk about water, food, and anything else you might need to know. Quick disclaimer, um, this size cage, definitely not good enough for a Tegu. They get big very quickly. Within the first six months, they'll, they'll explode in size. Uh, this is fine for probably the first month of, of living. Uh, the reason he's even still in here after seven months of having him is because within the first month he went down and you're not supposed to touch them when they're brew mating. Uh, but I just wanted to clarify that, uh, but we'll continue with the video. Water is probably the single most important thing to have readily available when they're coming out of brumation. They will be very thirsty and they will definitely want to drink some water coming out. Uh, so always make sure you have a water bowl filled. Um, you should probably have one filled just in case throughout their whole brumation period, but definitely have it ready for when they come out. In terms of food, you're going to want to hold off a little bit when they come out of brumation before you start feeding them again. I know you probably will be excited and you're ready to get them to eat and you're concerned about them not eating for all those months, but they might go back down. Even if it's very late into brumation when they should be coming out permanently, uh, you don't want to fill their stomachs back up and then have them go back to sleep. That's not good and that's going to cause a lot of issues. So if anything, offer something light. And preferably hold off a couple days and make sure that your guy's gonna stay out and not gonna go back to sleep and then start feeding them because they're gonna be very hungry. Now in terms of heating, I know some people turn their heat lights off during their brumation period. Um, for those people around this time, you know, like February, March, or if they wake up earlier, you're gonna wanna be turning those lights back on. Um, remember that less than 20 inches, their basking temp should be roughly 115 degrees. Um, larger though than 20 inches should be about 125 to 135. Uh, but I keep mine on throughout the entire brumation period, but if you keep yours off, then uh, recommend getting it back on around now um, because they'll be coming out soon. Another thing to note, even though it doesn't really have to do with their care coming out of brumation, is that when they wake up, they're usually very grumpy. Now this is probably understandable for a lot of you, even after one night of sleep, I am very grumpy waking up in the morning. So give them some space. They're not going to be super thrilled to see you when they wake up. They're probably going to be a little bit lost in terms of their surroundings, but they'll warm back up to you. Uh, I just wouldn't get very close to them right away because that might result in some aggressive behavior. Before wrapping up this video, I quickly want to ask those of you in Florida, please contact your senators. They are trying to introduce a bill that would outlaw a lot of common species in the pet trade, one of those being black and white tegus. Um, yes, there is an invasive species problem with black and white tegus and some of these other species in Florida, but this is not the way to go about it. A lot of those coming into the pet trade are actually wild caught in Florida and actually keep their population a little bit more stable, so it's important that we keep this going and we don't do an outright ban. They've already went ahead and banned several species of anacondas and are looking to add on more. Alright everyone, we're going to wrap up this video. As you can see, we have a couple friends here. We got Tortellini down here enjoying his, uh, his fine salad and Max hanging out. Hey Max, uh, she looks like she wants to come on a little adventure. But um, anyway, uh, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, and I hope you guys know a little bit more about how to take care of your tegus when they come out of brumation. It's very similar to when they come, uh, go back down into brumation for next winter, so be prepared for that. You can use this for that as well. Uh, if you enjoy the content, feel free to drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. Thanks.